Hey everyone, Joanne's here. We're with my good friend, Mr. George LoBianco, and we're driving. We're driving to Giuseppe's Pizza to do their pizza challenge. This is a massive, massive meat lovers or like all meat pizza featuring like ham, bacon, uh, ground beef, etc., etc. So there have been hundreds of attempts and only uh, two winning teams, according to the restaurant. You do have one hour to complete it, and it is approximately well. Online, we heard it was ranging from like 13 to about 16 pounds. So, you know, let's say average 14 and a half, 15 pounds. So a lot of stuff, a lot of meat, a very, very big pizza. Um, so basically, you, it is a $100 cash prize. You do pay $50 for the pizza regardless, but if you uh, win, in addition to getting 100 bucks, so a $50 net gain, you also get a $150 gift card and sweet t-shirt. So, George, ready for some pizza? You know it, bro. You know, I think it's, uh, I know you are saying how hungry you were, so <laughs> fingers crossed. Yeah. I actually uh, ate a little bit earlier, so. Yeah. Hopefully it's gonna be okay. I'm hoping maybe it's not as big as it could be. But anyway, let's, uh, we're about to arrive, so we'll tune on in and see what we can do. Um, this is in like the Lincoln Village. I think it's called Lincoln Village area, which is uh, basically on the west side of Columbus. So let's go eat some food, let's have some fun, and uh, let's get eating. All right, everyone, so here we are with the pizza challenge. Definitely a big one. Um, we have every kind of meat on here. It definitely is a big, 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 heavy looking one. So uh, there's actually only been two teams that were able to complete this uh, pizza challenge. We had two, uh, two teams on the wall, but ultimately, 60 minutes. George, ready to get started? I am. You ready? All right. Well, how about we get started? We'll save the count of five, four. Ooh, that is definitely still hot, but here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good luck, George. Thanks, man. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Giuseppe's trying what is undoubtedly the hardest pizza challenge I have ever ever tried and let's get into why that may be. First let's kind of start with the pizza itself. So the pizza uh, itself as we mentioned like there was a little bit of variation in the weight. Ours was definitely like 15-16 pounds. This thing was absolutely loaded. It might be hard to tell on camera but there was just so many toppings. Just piles and piles and piles of toppings. The crust was pretty thick. Um, it was quite a bit of dough but you know but nothing like you know absurdly absurdly thick but definitely on a thicker side but where again we really saw the difference was how many toppings were on it and uh, we're talking like just loads of different like the sausage the round sausage we're talking loads of ground beef everything just it was a heavy 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 pizza so we did have one hour to complete the challenge the pizza was $50 regardless, and then of course you got the gift card as well, um, and then again you got $100 cash, so a net gain of $50 in cash plus a gift card. Um, but yeah, so let's kind of, uh, we'll start talking a little bit more about this challenge, a little bit more of our findings, um, kind of as we start to get into this thing. Oh yeah, there's about 60 slices here, so about 30 each. So I don't know if it was that they like baked the pizza with some of the toppings and added more on top or maybe they made it and then decided to make it heavier afterwards but this, like some of the toppings on the very top were not hot which was really odd like you know you had the pizza which was cooked and some of like the lower cheeses and the top the lower toppings were um, warm but the top ones were not No storage of toppings So we thought that was a very like odd finding because you would think that um, you know, if anything was going to be hot, it'd be on the outside and the inside would be cold. Uh, besides that, we also noticed that some of the meats there, or like something on the pizza also had a really, mm, it was a very odd taste. I'll put it, just kind of leave it that way. It was a very odd taste. Um, so now of course food does uh, go always go down if you're enjoying it. And this was a very interesting tasting pizza. Um, I found the sauce as well. I did have a, a bottle, uh, like a little thing of sauce. The sauce was also very interesting. It was very, very acidic. 
um, you know, which again, hey, it, it, to it, uh, each all have their preference. It just wasn't quite to my preference. Um, but hey, it was definitely something, um, you know, nonetheless, that was a little different. I'm not really used to having a, such an acidic sauce, but again, to each their own. Um, but that's kind of, I guess, you know, in regards to the actual flavor of the pizza itself. All right, a couple minutes in. Definitely a heavy pizza. Lots of meat. But slowly but surely, hopefully we'll get through this. So as I mentioned, this pizza definitely came out a little bit bigger than we expected. We were expecting more like 11, maybe 12. Um, but again, it came out more probably like 15 plus. Uh, I was not fresh. I had done a very small challenge earlier in the day, but I figured like, oh, it, you know, with George, it'd be no problem. Um, of course, George w was fresh. He did not do a challenge earlier in the day. Um, so he was rocking. He was absolutely killing this thing. Just going full tilt. And, uh, you know, definitely this is a pizza which I am glad to have you know a fellow eating partner um, George is a great guy and I was definitely uh, thankful to have him alongside of me uh, for this challenge as I knew it was going to be very difficult uh, once we saw the pizza once we had it out and once we realized just how many layers of toppings were on top of it uh, now again we were really hoping to join the team, the other like, two teams that had uh, completed it um, on the wall. One being Randy Santel, and then the other being kind of just uh, like I didn't identify them as eaters, so I guess I'll call them a pair of average Joes. Which I will say, if two average Joes ate this pizza, that's incredibly impressive. But I think there's kind of a bit of variation in size. When I saw Randy Santel's video, his looked, mm, to me at least, uh, maybe a little lighter in toppings, maybe a little less, a little smaller. And George is crushing it, he's on fire. But ultimately that's kind of, you know, what you get when you're going into some challenges. You kind of expect there to be some variation. And it's not like they explicitly advertised the weight of this challenge. Now if you asked them, I think they said, oh, it's like 12, 13 pounds. Um, something along those lines. But I don't know. This was definitely a big one. Uh, the staff, although we're very friendly, I give them that. Um, really appreciate that. It definitely helps make the experience when the staff are into it and the staff are friendly. Um, we also had, um, you know, kind of the uh, couple, uh, one of the patrons or two wish us good luck because um, we're definitely going to need it. But that, that's pretty much all the information I think I have for you today. Um, you know, maybe I'll hop back in in a little bit. But pretty much that was about it. So a very, very, very large pizza. Um, hopefully we have enough time. Um, and let's just say, you know, things, we're, we're in for a rough ride. And uh, really, we're going to have to tune on in and see if we can even defeat this one. So that, let's get going. About eight minutes in. They're not too bad. Like I said, George is absolutely crushing it. Probably getting on about halfway, almost halfway. Oh, the big one.
20 minutes, huge, huge, huge pizza. Woo! I'll tell you that much. I'll take like a medium or large, he'll do an XL. XL. Yeah. Could I bother you with my friend for a, a glass of like just ice? Glass of just ice? Yeah. I don't know if you have a machine. Or yeah, if you just bring me an empty glass, I can get it. in slowly but surely
Um, we have to mail uh, our shirts up because we're going to get like custom made and stuff like that. Okay. So, um, if I get your guys' like name and address, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll do it after. Yeah, uh, we'll do it after. Yeah. Yeah. We're down to about six pieces. It's definitely kicking our butt. So by this point, if you can't tell, we were absolutely struggling. We were just absolutely so full. Um, we were heating up, and you know we weren't overly uh, you know enjoying the the flavor at this point, the taste of it. And man, it was just an absolute struggle. Every bite was just trying to hold it down. Um, you know, we both like had to use the restroom, um, and I'm not talking about throwing up. And this was just an absolute experience. So from this end, and we knew it was going to be a long, long, long ride. Um, we definitely, you know, ate to our absolute fill probably in the first 20, maybe 30 minutes. And uh, you know, it's funny that the the staff had more belief in it than we did, because we were we knew we were struggling. We didn't uh, have much time left, and there was definitely a lot of food. For those of you wondering what I was doing with the ice, I was putting it on the back of my neck and I was encouraging George to as well. Um, it it kind of helps uh, combat nausea a little bit, putting you know some ice, whether on your armpit, on your back, somewhere to kind of shock your system a little bit. Like I said, I was pulling every uh, trick out the closet to win. That was a good burp.
40 submission. When I finish this, is that good? Yeah, that's good. A lot of food, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of food. everyone we did finish the challenge oh my gosh i had to run to the bathroom not here trust me it's still very much there my other end oh my gosh i'm talking like i had to go put it that way but yeah so that was a hell of a challenge way bigger than we anticipated um but yeah for that uh we get 50 dollars net gain and a gift card and a t-shirt so uh, I don't know what that was just sometimes I ask myself why I do this but everybody Giuseppe's Columbus thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video definitely a big hard one and uh, don't eat that much pizza but have a little day Dang now the cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day. <laughs>